Hello, second grade. This story is just for you, and I challenge you to check this book out at the library or if you have it in your classroom to see if you can read this book aloud, and we'll see how I do. This one's called Oh Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. Said a book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and back flips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish, and Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish French fried. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish that Finney fries. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin, and the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes in with his handy shin pin bin, and with a thin blin shin bone pin, Blin pins din shin bones right back in. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading, or that bread spreader's sure going to butter his bedding. Aid Cakes Grape Cakes As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, The greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grape cakes. They're great! Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. You should leave your grox home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your grox must be packed and locked up in a grox box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for groxes. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle, would I? Yes, so I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. Eat it, skipper zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at skipper zips clipper ship chip chop shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. <gasps> the fud nuddlers. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnuddler brothers, who like to pile each on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud, and Skipper and Jipper, and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace, and Hendrix and Hud, and then come Dinwoody and Dinty and Dud, also Fitzsimmon and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud. And down at the pod bottom is poor little Lud. But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Look at that. Quack, quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack, quack, our black duck quickly quack, quacks back. The quacks blue quacks make her quite a quacker, but black is quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, oh say can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in a sack on my back. West Beast, East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each Beach Beast thinks he's the best beast. Which, beach, which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that East was best and the West was worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east, and I liked the beast on the east beach least. Pete Pat's Pigs Pete Briggs Pat's Pigs Briggs Pat's Pink Pigs Briggs Pat's Big Pigs Don't ask me why, it doesn't matter. 
Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs pink pigs, big pigs pig pen. Ooh, that one was hard. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. How to tell a clots from a glotz? Well, the glotz you will notice has lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the problem is that the spots on a glotz are about the same size as the dots on a clots. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glotz is. Hmm. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap or a fat flapjack flapper in a flat flapjack cap or if you think you don't like cops caps, flapjack flappers, or cupcake cooks caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps, perhaps. More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins, who tucking twin instruments under twin chins lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins. And, oh say can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-string, tin Schwinn mandolin. <laughs> Rope soap, hoop soap. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in Soapy Cooper's soup, s Super Soup Off Hoops Soak Suds. Merry Christmas Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush to Munch, but I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch mush, mush much. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim Swim Fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. but never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet, and a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh say, can you say? The storm starts when the drops start dropping, when the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. The end. Oh, I'm going to have to give my lips and my tongue a rest now. I hope you enjoyed that. That was just for happy birthday, Dr. Seuss Day. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And I would love to hear you guys read that story too. See you later.